Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron to Diamond, the series that we take a fresh account, Smurf account, never played right before, and attempt to take it from iron to diamond. Uh, we return silver for 55 LP, and um, things have been going a little bit poop recently. We lost, we've lost three games in a row, which is nearly unheard of. And I will say, also, if you're hearing the gift, someone donated uh, five Twitch subs to pick a champ. Um, I don't know if they've said what champion yet, though. Um, but yeah, I think I'll play jungle regardless, actually. Um, I'm going to play Diana jungle. It's fine. I'll let that guy go top. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, we've had a bit of a hard time, which by the time this video comes out, it's kind of like complete opposite to what's been going on on my main account. Uh, if you if you watch both series, then yeah, you'll be following that. My main account at the moment is in High Diamond 2. Uh, on our way to, you know, Diamond 1 and then hopefully on to Master. And this account is like, we're not winning. <laughs> Again, I will say a lot of it's my own fault and I will put my hand up and, you know, claim responsibility that I'm not really playing things to enable myself to carry. Like a lot of the time, the last game we played Twitch and my team fed too much in the early game that I just couldn't have an impact. Uh, so you really to climb, you've got to be smart about what you can and can't do. And in the rating I'm in, really, I should try and be more impactful on the map. And, you know, playing bot lane, that's a late game AD carry. Like if I if I want to play bot lane, maybe I should play Draven. That can have an impact in the early game. Top lane, play something aggressive, um, but not completely useless in late game like the Pantheon. So it's basically I just need to be a bit smarter, um, which is fine, you know. Again, we haven't really been struggling ourselves in these games. It's more that we have to make up for sometimes just not great teammates. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, team comp is locked in. A uh, little bit of an unknown what's going to happen this game because we've got a Rengar top that's even going to go really good or really bad. We've got a Zed even going to go really good, really bad. But yeah, let's get into it. We're playing Diana in the jungle. All right, welcome to the loading screen. Before we go on the stats again, I really haven't explored this much, like this loading thing at all. And I kind of want to just have a little look. So, like, what I kind of wish the only thing that would be different, if I'm honest. Like, here, you can see this person's silver 2 because they've actually got that there. Silver 4, silver 3, silver 3, gold 4. It's nice that it shows rank now, but maybe it'll be nice. Like, none of these people are... Oh, wait, does it not show enemy team rank still? Why doesn't it show enemy team rank? Like, it's not... A, it's like, oh, they should. Because, uh, yeah, now actually bringing up the actual loading screen with stats... Two of them are ranked. Uh, the rest of them aren't, though. Uh, but yeah, negative win rate, negative win rate, negative win rate, negative win rate. Um, already played quite a lot of games there and a lot of games there, too. Again, my main account is in High Diamond 2 at the moment with 50 games played, to put it into some perspective. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll win this game to get rid of the losing streak. We are playing Diana and, you know, it is a slight contradiction to what I said. Like, you know, I did say I need to get, you know, have more impact in the early game. Diana doesn't really have that. But what Diana does is, especially jungle, uh, I can cover the whole map as a jungler when I'm level six and hopefully then help my team. We're just really hoping that they don't feed like crazy before I'm level six. Uh, but even saying that, the enemy's late game is very good. Ours isn't bad. But I'd probably say the enemy team's late game's better. Viga, Jax, Gangplank, Crit Severe, comparing to Kaisa's fallen off quite a bit. Zed struggles with grouping, especially versus a Viga uh, E. Rengar gets countered by Viga E. Diana gets countered by Viga E. So you can kind of see a little bit of a pattern. So uh, I will be attempting to one shot the Viga quite a lot in this game. He is my goal. As a jungler, whenever you've got it in your gut, like mind to like one shot somebody or like that's your guy you want to kill a bunch, you're basically aiming to like make them rage. That's the goal. Also, I think we got biddies. Uh, JTD Hunter, thanks so much, dude. And we got, oh, B biddies, 500 biddies from Taste. Thanks so much, man. I don't know if. Ooh, Baba! What was that about? All right, easy. Calm down. Hey, Doran's ri Oh, damn. Doran's, uh... Blade. It's a bit rare, actually. All right, again, I don't jungle. Um, so just to make the point clear, my clear might be wrong. Might not be optimal. 
Uh, it's because I just don't jungle anymore. Um, come on. Here, yeah, boy. Good luck, have fun. We'll try. Wait for that. Like, I used my W until Alistair uh, was not tanking it anymore. Just to maximize how much health I'm not losing. And now, I'll go Gromp and then down there, I reckon. Yeah, this could be the wrong clear, but... I'm not really an early ganker anyway, so I want to mainly focus on just getting as much XP as I possibly can. Yeah, Doran's blade's a bit weird for Kaisa. Either Doran's shield or Doran's ring. First kind of expecting that, to be honest. Because there's no world that a gangplank beats an early Rengar top lane. The, the way you beat him is you just play super passive. Whoa! Nami got absolutely obliterated. Um, yeah, you just play super passive. Whoa! What is the damage going on in this game, baby? A lot of Rengar top players lately. I haven't seen any, so I don't know. It's hard. I can't comment on something that I personally haven't really seen. It might be... Is it Hail of Blades that has made Rengar back popular? Because I was thinking about that. Va like, if you guys watched the Vi episode, that we went crazy, but we still lost. Um, the one-shot potential was from Hail of Blades. So, I think it could possibly be that. Risking it for a chop. Ooh. Where's the jacks? No, there's no point. I don't even want to show. There he is. Kaiser, no. What? So far, so good. Again, my goal was... Well, not it's not even a goal. It's just a, a hope that my team doesn't feed before I get level 6 when I can start making an impact in the game. There could be a Jax there. Rengar top overtook Rengar jungle? Really? I find that hard, I believe. <laughs> Yay, we made an impact before level six. He's giving me this farm. Oh my god, I love you. Thank you. Hey, we got a gank up, baby. I'm gonna have a look. Hang on. Give me a second. Rengar. Jungle still is more. <laughs> Jungle is 74% and top lane is 17. So I don't know where you got that information from, but <laughs> it is not correct. My main man, first my champ gets banned out, and then, well, how about you play more than one champion? Hmm. Just saying. Just saying. I keep forgetting there's a Jax in the game, because really a Jax should be fighting me. 
because uh, he definitely has early advantage. Like, he has, he's still good in mid-late game, obviously, but there's not a lot of Diana can do to a Jax in the 1v1, because I rely quite a lot on my auto attacks in the early game, and he presses E, and then I don't do any damage on the auto attacks. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, no, Rengar top definitely has an overtake in Rengar jungle. Rengar top's a one-trick pick. Again, not saying that's a bad thing, because I used to play it. But, yeah. It's what it is. Shut down. This overstay. He's fighting the Rengar at a bush. That's suicide. That was a bit messy. Unfortunate thing happened that I had no mana for my d uh, second R, otherwise I would have killed him straight away. And then he dinged level 6. <laughs> That was awkward. We need that Inferno. Indeed, we do. I have one shot potential now. On Nami, Severe. Probably Viger. Maybe even Gang. Wow, look at top. Wait. That's very little farm in top lane. But again. Oh, my. Oh, mama. Um. As I've always said, you know, there isn't a perfect farming per, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. It's subject to the game you're in. And that top lane right now, it's not a farm lane, it's a kill lane. So, yeah. Ow, he took the kill. That's annoying. Also, we have a toxic Alistair, so let's get rid of his privileges and treat him like a toddler. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Zed. Go get him, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was funny. I doubt I'm alive. Huh? I'm alive! I like Diana. I'm playing quite well. Like, again, I'm doing my combos really well. I'm, like... Because a good Diana doesn't necessarily use both of her R's on the target. You saw there, I use Q to get onto a minion. And then use my second... Use the R on the minion. Then use my second R to get onto Nami. That was nice. Wait, what? <laughs> what just happened in mid? I 
should probably focus crabs more because I've only done... Uh, I, I, I guess I've done alright with crabs, actually. But yeah, a lot of Dianas, and again, I know I'm not an expert at the champion, but I can easily save some basics whenever I see Dianas. Because that's the thing that also, when people say to me, Huz, you can't give advice on this champion, you don't play him much. Yeah, but I, may, I play against stuff all the time. And half the, half the time about... Half knowing a champion is knowing how to play against them, and you learn things and you play against them. And most Dianas use both of their R's, like, instantly. Instead of, like, being smart about it. Also, that was... I guess my bad that they got Infernal, but... Eh. Didn't expect the enemy team to do that, if I'm honest, so... Yeah, I guess my bad. Um... That's annoying. There's a weird audio bug going on. Can you guys hear it? Or like not hear it? It's, it's like some sound is disappearing. Ooh, I missed. Don't stay on the tower, just leave. The enemy bot lane is having a really weird game. Like, they keep staying when they should just get them out of there. But I will say, a lot of it's probably because of the Nami pick. Again, you guys know I don't rate Nami. Again, especially against something like an Alistair. That all Alistair has to do is just kind of like go... And she's dead. Like, yeah. The patience, well played. Yeah, that's what a lot of the time assassins are surprisingly well not surprisingly because back in you know in ancient japan or whatever times when the actual assassins the biggest part about being an actual assassin is the patience until you can get the target you know like hitman if you play hitman like a lunatic and you run in you're not playing the game right in hitman you got to play you know smart and patient it's the same thing in league a lot of the time with assassins gotta choose your moment agent 47 Oh, I mucked up. The one that's the first mistake I made this game. The first that the target that I pressed the R on did not have the crescent strike passive. Uh, feels bad. I will say, uh, this is finally going to be obviously a victory. We lost three games in a row and we're having a pretty clean game here. Um, helping bot lane snowball, which is nice. Again, the reason why, if you're wondering why have I gone bot lane a lot, Nami. I don't think I needed a flash then. I was expecting a lot more damage. But Viga didn't really do any. So that was a bit weird. I like how the, the top laners are just having a casual chat. Like... I killed you a million times. Sorry, bud. Oh, it's all right. You know, it you know, just happens, doesn't it? Which is a good... To be fair to the gangplank, it's a good mentality to have. Like...
really. Oh, he got sped up by Nami. Ay, ay, ay. Not convinced I want to go in there. Pete, no flash Z. Great. Thanks for letting us know. It's been a really, really chill game, actually. Ah. And there's, you know the funny thing? And how, like, odd it is sometimes? The past few games that we've had, I haven't ha felt like I could make much of an impact. Uh, even if, you know, the Vi game, for example, getting ridiculously fed, couldn't carry... Um, last game on Twitch wasn't given enough time to carry. Even if I didn't even have a good game this game, my teammates have played well enough that it doesn't matter. Like, the, the what's the chances? Like, if I had just a normal game, or if I wasn't even doing well, my team would probably still win because they're just beating their lanes individually. How annoying is that? Also, that severe build is very weird. Again, I know I haven't looked up the new builds completely, but I can pretty safely say that's probably not correct. I want to one-shot somebody. I want to one-shot somebody. Let me one-shot. Oh, come on. Come on. I mucked up my R, uh, but I didn't, well, I didn't muck it up. I just used it to get the kill when I probably should have waited. I wasn't patient. Severe rush to static shield. Oh, I didn't think that was going to land, but it did. a lot of damage. No! <laughs> that was bad. Shut down. She had heal. Uh, like I said, Viga with our team comp, if we didn't snowball, I would have been worried because Viga E counters three of us. Viga counters us three. Quite badly. Like, it is pretty a big counter. Because you legit just can't get in. Mm. They really want to do Baron. Kais is like doing it solo or something. Wow, look at whoa, I didn't whoa. 84 farm, 167. That's impressive. Is the Zeta Smurf <laughs> Is the Zeta Smurf W's into a wall? We've all done it. We've all done it. There is something weird with the audio. Maybe it's Diana. I just don't... There's not the full audio. Again, like I said earlier, I was going to say, can you hear it? But then it's it's more, can you not hear it? Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Oh, you did it. Triple barrel.
My Kaisa's been pushing. Okay. You think it's the skin? Oh, really? Because it's like watery. Maybe. I don't. I don't want that. No, no. no. Viger, they're starting to counter us a bit. Just by the basic way that the team comps work. So yeah, people are saying it's the skin. Okay. Fair enough. I just I don't know if I've ever used the skin before. She's saying that was no skills, but we did do a little bit of a skill thing. We were patient. We waited for the second Q, then we went in with the W. So yes, they're just getting one shot, but it's a skillful one shot. I'm just saying. That's my defense, Your Honor. The defense rests. Whoa. The fire skin is better. Yeah, I think I might agree. Ooh. They really didn't want me to get rid of that vision, huh? Uh-oh. That was still up! Oh, wow. That was unfortunate. I think we should just group an end, man. Why not Magi's? Because Magi's is dumb. Don't buy Magi's, it's that simple. Yeah, we need a group. We're just throwing it by not grouping. Because surprisingly, the Rengar's actually pretty weak. He's got 91 farm, so... Yeah. Like, what the... F what do you want about? God damn! This rating bracket is just odd. Uh, again, I will say, I do feel sorry if this is like your actual rating bracket, if you are a silver gold player. Blech. It's not nice. People are dumb. No offense. Like, I'm sure they're very intelligent individuals in real life, but video game intelligence, they're not very smart. But that's, that's another problem with League of Legends. Is that... Oh, really? Somebody coming... Eee, Alistair! Go in! If he CC'd the Jax, I could have killed the Jax. I just needed him to go into the air. Oh, that's lame. Oh, he mucked up his combo. Oh, it's the Viger cage. If that Alistair just knocked it... Oh, God. Oh, God. Good W. Wait, Viger? Okay, back out now, I guess. Just get to this bush. Get Oh, okay, use Viger Cage. Get to the Zed. Get to the Zed. Go, Zed. Go, go, go. Wait, where's our Kaiser? Top. She's top. Sorry, my bad. I didn't look that she was top because I was like, we're going to group, right? Uh, not by her plan. Never mind. Alistair was stunned. I don't think he was. And if he was, didn't he have his ultimate up to make him not stunned? Uh, 
Oh, Vigo's a big count. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want what just wait. Just wait until Asta comes. Oh why are we pushing it that much? If the enemy team comes now, we're dead. Because my team doesn't know how to be patient. Great. Can please stop making calls? I shouldn't have gone into the Baron pit because the Kaiser was spamming it and that was just a dumb move. This could be the fourth loss in a row. Kaiser, by the way, never uses her ultimate either. Ugh. People need to stop making dumb calls, but then I need to stop listening to them. It's just it's ridiculous. Mm. From a free win to probably a loss. Or because, I'm going to be honest, a lot of it's because of the Kaiser. <laughs> she's not grouping when we need to end. And she's making dumb calls. And she's never using her ultimate to like get out of tricky situations. The trifecta of bad stuff going on. It's like great. Please. Oh. I got it. Kaisa. An ally has been slain. I think her R button's broke. <sighs> that must be it. I think we've solved the case. That's not a good idea, is it? I actually did a lot of damage. Alistair did something! Never mind. Oh. This game's ridiculous. Why isn't he just... The Zed should just go back. Oh, God. He has to blow up the Viger. As I said, the, the Rengar is actually really weak right now. The dude just focused on kills. Kaisa, use ultimate! We might have just won! Oh, he had Ignite the bum. Kaiser hasn't auto attacked anything. There we go. Great. My FPS is freaking out. This Kaiser is. Holy moly. I think she auto-attacked about three times in that whole fight and ignored a target right next to her. Again, I don't want to give people a hard time, but I can't ignore that. I'm sorry. I know people are going to go, how's this negative? I can't ignore that. Ugh. I don't know what the hell has happened to my FPS. Maybe there's a Windows update or something happening. Holy tamales. That was pretty clean. We 
could have ended this game, I'm not even kidding, probably about six minutes ago. If Kaiser was grouping. Uh, Jax took that. Okay. I need to get a one shot on somebody. That makes the game so much easier. Could do a bush play. Bush plays are obviously a little bit scumbag, but they do they're effective. Well sometimes. Sometimes you can get caught out. Like this I don't know if we've checked if there's vision in here. Like Zed should be here. And then when he gets engaged on, he runs to us and then bam. But right now he's not really Ah, so it was warded. That's a bad move by Nami. That like they could have absolutely obliterated us then. They chose not to. That's fine. We got our flash, right? I'm pretty sure I just got severe flash. Because if any if anybody went in with me then, I think we'd be fine. But again, the Kaiser's basically AFK. So we can't rely on her. And this Alistair never looks for an engage. Again, this, this game is very much an uphill battle. Because we have two... Oh, we have two people that just aren't really doing much. Like, Kaisa, again, is by herself over there. Not achieving anything. Zed just got caught. Nah, this game's lost. Oh, well. Again, four losses in a row. Whatever. Uh, people just don't want to win. Again, I know I shouldn't do the question mark ping, but... Come on, man. Come on, man. It's just, I think it's legit a simple case that she's raged out and she doesn't want to win. Because, like, she still hasn't backed. Enemy team is in our base. She, she cancelled her base once. So I legit think she just doesn't want to win. Which is unfortunate. That she just gave up. Rengar became useless because of the Viger that I spoke about in early game. Is a natural counter. We, again... I don't like pinning games on one person, but the Kaiser did lose us this game because we were so far ahead in the early game that we had to win early because of the Viger pick is a counter to three of us, me, Zed, and Rengar. And the Kaiser just didn't group. Like, she was top lane or whatever. It's like, uh, unfortunate that literally the Kaiser caused the loss. One person. One person. How can I carry better on my main than this account? Because my people in the main account know what they're doing. It, it's that simple. Games are a lot easier when everybody knows what they're doing. But, uh, yeah. But again, this Kaiser will most likely leave the game go, Hey, I went 208 farm, 756. I had a great game. But in reality, if you actually looked in depth, she lost the game. For all of us. Again, KDA doesn't mean everything, so, yeah. 1294, 193 farm. We lost again 13. We get an A minus. So again, we've we now lost four in a row. We do the most damage in the game. Uh Kaiser does the least damage of any carry on our team, which is not surprising. She just wasn't involved. Basically AFK. Um so yeah, four losses in a row. I thought this was a free win, but Kaiser Kaiser had other plans. Oh I don't know what to do. I, again, I want to be mid. Because in mid, I can snowball and win the game. But I'm never getting... Like, I'm never getting mid on my main account. And I'm never getting mid on this account. So, yeah. I think I can't remember how many losses we've ever had in a row, which is the record. But four is close. But, uh, yeah. If you guys are still enjoying and, again, you appreciate that I upload every episode, throw a like on it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.